Hey everybody, I'm Diane Gale and I am the author of the blog SustainableSlowLiving.com and today you and I are going to make DIY beaded wooden spoons together. This is a very simple design. I think it's really, really cute. It's highly customizable and um, it's really easy to do. So I am going to bring you in so that you can see what's going on here. And we're gonna make a DIY beaded wooden spoon together. Okay, so here we go. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you make your wooden spoon is you're going to want to make a pattern for how you do your beads. This is the pattern that I made when I started. So I picked up this floral wire. Um, it is a 26 gauge floral wire and I picked it up at the dollar store. Okay, can't get cheaper than that, $1.25. What I like about it um, in comparison to other floral wires that I've worked with is that it's thinner and I wanted thinner for the seed beads. Um, you know, it's thinner because it's cheaper, but in this case, that's a beneficial thing. So I took and I cut a piece of this and I made this pattern to follow. Now I did, um, I did do something here with the ends to make it so the beads would stay on. And I'm gonna show you all of that when we do the spoon. But the reason that I made the pattern is because once you are beading for your spoon, you can get lost and where you are and what comes next. And it's just nice to have this to follow. You don't have to have it. It's really helpful. To make the spoon, you take your wire and you cut a 30 inch length of it. So I will do that now. Just an old pair of craft scissors that you're not really particular about will cut this wire because it is that thin. And then we're gonna take and we're going to measure about two and a half inches down. This is not an exact science, you guys. It really isn't. And then you're gonna take a toothpick and you're just going to, I'll put it down a little bit and I'm gonna wrap this once, twice, three times, four times. And that creates a loop so your beads won't be able to get past that loop. And that's the same thing that I did when I made the pattern. I created a loop so my beads couldn't get past it. You can just take and slide your toothpick out of there. Now obviously if you don't have a toothpick, you can use something else of similar size. And then I just took and squeezed this so that the coils came together, but I still have a hole because we are going to need to have that hole later. I don't know if you can see that. And from there, you are going to simply thread your beads onto the wire in the pattern that you created. Now, I have these in little dishes to thread them. Mostly that was because I wanted to take pictures and I needed the beads in the pictures. Normally I just have these in a bead organizer and you can work right from your organizer. Just like it's a little plastic um, tray, little box with little compartments in it to keep your beads organized and separated in for storage. You can work right from that. If you take your wire and you just um, get it a little bit of an angle, it'll be easier for you to thread the beads onto it. If you keep it straight, they're just going to keep flying off. So I will take and thread four red beads on here because that's the start of my pattern and then run them down to the um, loop that I created on the end, and then I'll continue on with the pattern until I get to about two and a half inches from the other end. I like to 
um, complete my pattern so it's not always exactly two and a half inches, but you can do it any way that you want. And once I have that done, I'm going to create a loop at the other end, the same as I did already at the start. And I will then come back so that I can show you how to put this on your wooden spoon. Okay, you guys, so I have the entire strand and a loop at each end. I'm not expecting this to be super easy to show you how to do this on camera, but I'm gonna do my best. So you wanna figure out about where it is you want your beads to go. And then you're gonna to wanna to take and make it so that your loop kinda of comes down under the strand of beads. Now, I recommend starting in the middle, and then if when you wrap it, your loop doesn't match up on the other side, rewrap to make it. Like your loop could end up on the front, and you don't want that to happen. I know from experience with these spoons that I have to start a little bit off to the side, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take the wire and run it up along the top of the spoon. Okay, and then I'm going to hold that in place and I'm going to take and wrap the spoon a couple times. You want this to be nice and tight when you're wrapping, okay? And then I'm just going to take and I'm going to wrap the whole thing. I'm going to straighten that wire out when I need to. And there you have it. So our one loop is here and our other loop is on the side, but it's not actually in the front, which is good. So we are going to take this wire that is coming up from the bottom and we are going to run it through this loop that's at the top. It is not always that easy to do, friends. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to fold it back like so. And then we are going to take this wire that is coming from the top loop and we're going to fish it down underneath the beads. Once you get it out the other end, there's a chance that you might have to grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it down through. Be careful when you do that, that you don't unravel your loop, but you'll pull it through and you'll bring it around to the other side. And then you are going to, I'm going to bend that loop up so I can fish this wire through this loop on the bottom. And then again, you may need your pliers. Just grab a hold of that, tighten it up a little bit. Make sure that you bend it back around that loop. Okay. So now you have, your spoon wrapped. You just have to deal with your wires and you can take your toothpick and you can just maneuver them all underneath the um, strings of beads. It takes um, a little bit of time and effort to get them maneuvered, but you can get them pretty much covered. Maybe not absolutely completely, but nothing noticeable. And then you can flip your spoon over and just take your hand and just sort of snug those beads up so that they're nice and tight on the wooden spoon. And there it is, you guys. They are really very cute. They truly are. Um, this is going to be a great little set in summer colors and um, they're super easy to do. You do have to struggle with that wire a little, that's true, but other than that, really fun, really easy project. I am really loving these. I think they're pretty great, I honestly do. Um, I wish I had a better way to really show them to you, but there are going to be plenty of pictures over on the blog so you can see what they really look like. There is also information over there um, on how you can use them and how to take care of them and um, some ideas about how to gift them and uh, ideas for color schemes because you can you know, do them 
for different occasions. So if you want to go over to the blog and take a look at that information, as always, there will be a link down below. Uh, the thing that I love about this project is that you can sit down in front of the television and do it while you're watching a show at night. If I sit down in front of the TV at night, um, I just start to fall asleep. So if there's a movie or something that I wanna watch, it's nice for me to have something to keep my hands busy because that keeps me awake. So I hope that you make some of these for yourself. I hope that you make some of these for gifts. I hope that you make them for different occasions so that they um, make you smile as much as they make me smile when you're using them. And um, as always, it has been really wonderful having you here with me today. And you and I are going to get together again and we are going to do it really soon.